हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल क्लिनिकल बायो केमिस्ट्री बाई डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स विच नॉर्मली कम्स अंडर रेस्ट्रिक्शन इंडो न्यूक्लियज वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रेस्ट्रिक्शन इंडो न्यूक्लियज देर आर थ्री स्पेसिफिक टर्म्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट इज आइसोसाइजोमर नियोसाइजोमर एंड आइसोकॉडामर्स सो वी विल सी वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज दीज थ्री टर्म्स एंड वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दीज थ्री सो एक्चुअली दीज थ्री आर नॉर्मली पेयर्स ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन इंडो न्यूक्लियज so first see uh, what is restriction in the nucleus uh, yesterday uh, in previous lecture i have seen the restriction in the nucleus are those nucleic enzyme which normally cuts the dna inside not from the terminal end so it is called as restriction in the nucleus like see this restriction in the nucleus when we are talking there are two specific terms two specific things one is recognition site and second one is restriction site so every restriction in the nucleus is going to recognize some portion of your dna okay so this recognition site is normally 4 to 8 base pair long so in this case for eco r1 this 6 base pair long sequence is called as recognition site and restriction site is in between g and a so as a result it is going to chop cut the dna from here and this side from here so ultimately we are going to get this type of product so this type of product we are going to call it the staggered end or the sticky end overall total uh, we have seen there are three different type of products we are getting uh, that is st staggered end blunt end in staggered end we have two types of product that is 5 prime protruded and 3 prime protruded we are going to see it like see in case of eco r1 when eco r1 uh, cut the dna so we are going to get the staggered end of product sticky end of dna we are going to get as a product and similarly in in this case sma1 is going to recognize this uh, six base pair sequence a long sequence and it is going to cut from between g and c so as a result we are going to get a blunt in the dna so this is two types uh, in this staggered end so we are having two types of protrusions either we are going to have a five prime end is going to be protruded or we are going to have a three prime end protruded so these two are called as staggered end or uh, sticky end and this is called as blunt end dna in the uh, genetic engineering normally a staggered end of dna we requires more means it is preferred dna you can call it now comes to those three terms which we are going to use the first term is isosizomer what is isosizomer this is those type of restriction in the nucleage pairs which is going to have same recognition sequence means two enzymes which recognizes the same dna sequence as well as their cleavage site restriction sites are also same are called as isosizomer for example in this case we are going to see two enzyme that is sph1 and bbu1 they recognize a six base pair sequence that is cgt acg so for sph1 also this is the six base pair sequence long sequence is the recognition site for bbu1 same recognition site and they are going to restrict between c and g here and c and g here so for these two enzymes both recognition site and restriction sites are the same so there are three points which we can remember for isosizomer is same recognition site means recognition site means recognition sequence same restriction sites and as a result they are going to give us the same product how they are going to give you the same product we can see here like this is the sequence uh, this sequence we have seen that this is the uh, recognition site for the sph1 cgt acg and they are going to restrict between c and g as a result when sph walks on this one sph digest this one we are going to get this product so we will get this type of product uh, this is one product and this is another product we are going to get it in case of sph1 when this is the same sequence uh, which is going to be recognized by another enzyme that is bbu1 when bbu1 walks on this one they are also going to have the same restriction sites so they are also going to give you the same product like this type of product we are going to get it so overall if you see compare both the things so this component is equal to this one and this dna fragment is this one means this protrusion this protruded end is equal to this protruded end and this protruded end is equal to this so same type of product same type of uh, protrusion same type of uh, dna product we are going to get it so three points first 
same recognition site. So in this case, SPH1 and BBU1 is having same recognition site, CGT, ACG, that is the recognition site. Same restriction sites, they are both are going to cut DNA at the same point and as a result, they are going to give you the same product. So this is called as isocyzomers. Now second point is neocyzomers. New means new means new. In this case, those restriction endonuclease pairs whose recognition sequence are the same but their restriction sites are different. They are called as neocyzomer. Like in this case, we are having two examples that is SMA and XMA. Both recognize six base pair sequence that is CCCGGG. So you can see here. SMA also recognizes this sequence, XMA also recognizes this sequence. But the restriction site for SMA is in the center, in middle. And XMA is going to restrict here between uh, first nucleotide and the second nucleotide. As a result, we can see three points here, same recognition sites, so recognition sequence you can call it. So same recognition sequence in both the cases, different restriction site they are going to restrict differently at different place places and as a result we are going to have different DNA product after the digestion we will get it. So in this case we will get this type of product, in this case we will get this type of product. So different type of products we will get it. Otherwise in details you can see here this is the CCC GGG that is the recognition site for SMA, SMA cuts in the center so it is going to cut digest from here. As a result, we are going to get two blunt in the DNA. So this is CCCGG because here and here DNA is going to be digested. So blunt in the DNA we have got it. Same recognition site CCCGGG when it is going to be digested by XMA. XMA does not come in the center. They are going to digest from the first and second nucleotide. So as a result, we are going to get a, a staggered or a cohesive end or you can call it a sticky end of DNA. So in this case, Again, three points. Recognition sequences are the same. So, same recognition sites, same recognition sequences. Restriction sites are different. In this case, recognition restriction sites are here. In this case, restriction site is here. And as a result, we are going to get different type of products. In this case, we are going to get a blunt in the DNA. In this case, we are going to get a cohesive end of DNA. So, this is called as neocytomer, new type of product we are going to get it. And last one is isocodomer. What is isocodomer? In this case, those two restriction endonuclease pairs, which is having the different recognition sequence, different restriction sites, but as a result, the products will be the same. Cohesive end will be the same. Not product, cohesive end will be the same. So they are called as isocodomer. Like you can see here, there are three enzymes, BAM H1, BGL2, and SO3-1. They are going to, they are, if you compare BAM H1 and SO3, in this case, the fifth, fourth nucleotide is here and fifth nucleotide, in this case, any nucleotide will be there. In case of BAM H1, we, we need CG and in case of BGL3, we require AT. So, their recognition sequences are different. As a result, when they are going to wax BAM H1, BLGL3 and SO3, they are going to give you a cohesive end of CTA. C C T A G C T A G C T A G and second one C T A G C T A G so same type of cohesive end we are going to get in all three cases they recognize differently restrict differently and the product will be the same so they are called as isocodomer so here again three points different recognition site different re recognition sequences different restriction sites cut at digest at different places but the DNA product or the cohesive end will be the same. So these are called as isocodomer. So isocytomer, same recognition site, same restriction site, same product. Neocytomer, same recognition site, different restriction site, different product. Isocodomer, different recognition site, different restriction sites, same product. So these are the three different terms which we need to understand so thank you very much hope you have understand it you can follow my channels on different uh, social networking sites if you are not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it if you like the video press the like button 
you can share with your friends with your colleagues thank you very much have a nice day